Okay, this question is from control system. And this is also a one marks question. It says a closed loop system has a characteristic equation as given. Uh, the characteristic equation which is given is S cube plus KS square plus K plus 2 S plus 3 equal to 0. This is the characteristic equation which is given. For this system to be stable, which of the following conditions should be satisfied? So this is a somewhat easier question. What we need to do for this is, we need to apply the RH criteria. So for applying the RH criteria, we know how to apply it. This S cube will take this term and the, this, this term that is 1 and K plus 2. And then we'll write S square and we'll take these two terms. We'll write K and 3. Then we'll take S to the power 1. And then we'll multiply this with this. That means K square plus 2K. And then we'll multiply this with this. Minus this into this, minus this into this. That means 3 by this term. Okay? And this will be 0. And then as 0, this term will be 3. Okay, this into this, minus this into this, divided by this, ultimately we will get a 3 here. Now, for the system to be stable, we know that, that there should be no sign change in this row, in this particular, sorry, in this particular first call. So this is positive. Okay, now this should be positive for the system to be stable, so that there is no sign change. So the first option, uh, first condition is k should be greater than 0 or positive. Second condition is this should be greater than 0. That means k square plus 2k minus 3 should be greater than 0. I have ignored this k in the denominator because I have already considered that this is greater than 0. So I have uh, ignored this condition. So what I am saying is that if k is greater than 0, and then this particular, I, I need to find out the condition for this particular thing to be greater than 0. So now let us do the factorization and we can see that k square plus 3k minus k minus 3 greater than 0. So I can say it is k plus 3 and k minus 1 greater than 0. Now, if we write this in number format, we can say that this is minus 3 and this is plus 1. So this is k is equal to minus 3 here and k is equal to plus 1 here. So this is plus minus plus. So my values will be, values of this expression will be greater from here and here. That means here k will be, k should be greater than 1 or and or or k should be less than minus 3. Now this is the this is the first condition. This is the second condition. Now we have to take common of this two. That means both these conditions should be satisfied. Now this says that it should be positive number. So this condition is gone. So the only condition that is left is this. That means k should be greater than zero, and he, it says that k should be greater than one. That means ultimately, if k is greater than one then both the condition is satisfied. So we'll go by this condition, which is k is greater than 1. So that's, so this will be the option, k greater than 1. Okay?